today I'm uh, going to start unboxing a, uh, it's basically a chimney for through the wall, and it's a Dura vent. Let's see if I got a better picture of it here. Yeah, through the wall, it's going to be like that. So I'm going to unbox it and make sure I got everything here. Um, and then I'll get started on it, and I'll be putting it back here. See, here's my stove. And then I'm going to be going out. I got to cut that uh, wall board, remove the insulation inside there, and then run my connection right out through that wall where that wall board is. So uh, I got to cut that wall board off, uh, open a hole up there, and then I can put the wall board back after I get my uh, connection through the wall there. So. All right, I've got it uh, unboxed here. So uh, let me go over everything here. This is the. Uh, pipe section that will uh, come through the wall and then you've got your um, then I've got a uh, thimble a wall thimble here I've got a, a ring here which is the uh, basically just to uh, partition off the wall with that and then we've got our um, chimney cap here this is our support piece over here and then this is the uh, the T that sits on top of uh, this will sit on top of this once I get it through the wall. And um, this uh, goes back in inside the building. That's on the wall facing in. And then this will all come up from there. Putting this uh, stovepipe through the wall. I've got my circle drawn here. That's a uh, 14 and a quarter inch um across circle so i've got to cut out that black line go through the wall i've taken my uh, siding off the outside so i won't uh, cut into my siding because i'm going to put some j channel out there and redo that siding the way it should all right what i've done is i've uh, cut the hole i took my outside thimble outside thimble and put it in the hole and traced the outside edge of it then i put my j channel uh, to the inside of the line so that I would be able to uh, then I'm going to cut it and I'm using 10 snips to uh, cut the uh, vinyl with it I found it's a lot easier so I'll continue on here and uh, we'll continue to uh, work <laughs> I got the uh, siding back on, got the J channel in of course, and then I'm going to slide this in. This fits right over the J channel, and then what I'm going to do is uh, take some screws and screw these corners into the uh, siding, and then I'll be able to uh, put my uh, piece that goes from outside the T 
with the extension going inside the building. I'm going to put a pop rivet in the top one and then work my way around because I'm going to have three in there and then I'll push it back in and attach it back to the outside wall. One. the uh, thimble on the inside and it says it has to be a minimum of two inches so I'm right at two inches on the inside wall. What I plan on doing is putting two 10 foot post four befores in the ground here and then attaching my support piece out here so that when I go up I miss that 10 inch overhang up there. So. Uh... Well, we got the outside done. Got it all uh, supported here. 
Got our base in. Had to use post, of course, in order to get it away from the uh, trim of the, or the uh, fascia up there. Uh, and then uh, put the uh, base on it, and then the pipes, and it goes up just like you need it. So therefore, I'll be able to uh, have some heat in that building this winter. So appreciate y'all watching. And uh, that was it for today. All I have to do now is just hook up a pipe to the inside of the stove, uh, the stove on the inside of the building, and we're good to go. Appreciate y'all for watching. Get out and do something.